Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to look inside Heroes in Defiance, Lock and Load Tactical System. Got a little naming uh, variation there, kind of like Day of Heroes. This is Heroes in Defiance, not Heroes of the Defiance. This takes place in the early days of the wars. Uh, Germany's marching across Europe, going through uh, Belgium and France, and, you know, in general, setting the stage for the the battle to come so anyway there's a game in here and we're gonna see what you got what comes with it again the new printings nice three inch boxes uh, you get a lot more room for storage oh, the, oh, the blue color I'll play this one just a, just for a little bit i'm so superficial honey all right and speaking of blue you got a blue dye white and blue you're too nice Excellent. Then you're going to get the Module Rules and Scenarios book for Heroes and Defiance. Now, I never played this series before, so... I mean, the series I've played, I've never played any in this, in this series, so... This one comes with an... This is the biggest one so far that I've seen. 98-page module book, scenario book. That's amazing. So how many... How many scenarios we got here? Goodness gracious, look at this. There are a lot of scenarios. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two scenarios. That's the most I've seen so far in any of the series. So you get thirty-two scenarios. If you're studying Common Core, you get Square Daisy. Just translating it for you. Uh, it's full color, very nice. The uh, the theme carries carries throughout. Um, so I mean, this is like I was just joking about the blue, but you know, they carry that forward in all of this. It's kind of nice. I mean, they didn't just like take a template and just slap it all together. So you have several pages telling you about the different stuff. Oh my gosh, dead cows. You can have dead cows in the game. Oh, that's so sad. But it's food. Um, one nice thing they've added, i cover this in all of them, but they should be praised for this because they didn't have it at first. Scenario information. Scenarios are laid out in date order. If you're new, then you can play. It recommends two or three scenarios that you can play to introduce you slowly to the rules of the game or the special rules for the, this module. So Phony War, you play, it's just, uh, you know, leg units, support units, support weapons and weapon teams. Then fighting the hedgehogs and kick them out are good scenarios to introduce armor. And they only have a few tanks that are played on only one map. And once you have them down, uh, you can go on to the, to, to the larger scenario. So that's pretty cool. All right, so you gotta get that big, huge, beautiful book. Wow, that's awesome. So like Ralphie. Yeah. yeah, that's great. All right, and we are going to get six counter sheets for your 32 scenarios. Get these that are uh, have your uh, skills, skill markers. You get rubber boats, and then most of these are just going to be uh, status counters. Looks like the first two are this because they're all small counters. So markers, you got upper level because you got some multi-story buildings. Uh, special units, tanks, hatches open and closed, poor dead cows, moo dead, and craters. They become craters after you eat them. All right, so they punch very easily. We'll see that with a bigger counter here. Let me get the lock and load core rules manual 4.1 for the World War II era, which is from 30 to 59, and it is a 60. Same as the other World War II games, it's you know, the same manual, 60, 68 pages, I believe. Large print, easy to follow, cross-referenced section numbers. It's very easy to play, easy to easy to understand manual. And if not, you can ask questions on the lock and load forums or on BGG. And then we get to the rest of the counters. We have two that were masters only. Now we've got this one here, we got troops. Uh, so we got French, we got SS troops in here. 
some weapons, and they punch really easily. I mean, there's no, no, no effort at all to come out. Punch nice and clean, pre-rounded, be ready to play. Nice click to them. I like doing that. I do. Again, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen me do that like repeatedly. But it's such fun. Such fun. All right. Get another sheet of counters. These are ones, obviously. And then, who we got here? Skull and crossbones guys. I'm not. I'm not up with who these guys are. And then some guys with. It's like a wolf's head or a boar's head or something. So you obviously got different horses. They're color coded. Got plain. Got a fairy battle. Plain. We've got some train tunnels, fords, more troops, more weapons, some trucks. All right, six lovely counter sheets. Now we got some maps. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps here. Take a look at what you get here. These are double sided. So we have 22. We got farmland coming into towns, it looks like, or cities. 22 0, which again, it's the, uh, in a lot of cases when it's double sided, it's the same geographic area with uh, some structural changes so like you got this here you got these fields but then later in the year you got a river so in one year it looks mostly the same but now that a river runs through it so maybe Brad Pitt be in here somewhere Tom Scary all right so one map we got a clearly purely urban map the urban cowboys here got a bridge going across a so like a canal going through the town, probably in Belgium somewhere, 27. So while they look like, like this is a road now, so maybe my analysis is faulty. They look the same, just have slightly different terrain features. 26, single side map. That's pretty. I like the color blue on that river. Like the stand of trees. Very cool. And then we've got 25, also single-sided. Wow, that looks tough. Got roads, rivers, trees, very intense forest too. Very cool. 24, double-sided. I'm gonna go through these really quick. You can look at them. Let's see what you're getting, right? 24 0. Got a whole choo choo train going through here. Let's see what this is. I guess this is the, uh, this is the Petticoat Junction map. You old people get that one. 24 B. That's the train. This, uh, this one goes to Shining Time Station, I think. Alright. And 23. Crossroads. These are obviously geomorphic. So the reason they connect together. To make you know see a map. Alright. So there's your maps. Real quick, you can also get a oversized skill reference card that tells you what the different heroes and leaders' skills are. Right. Small print, probably gonna make this smaller itself, maybe one card flipped over. I'm always worried when I get, have to get these big things out and I'm gonna knock all the counters over with a big gust of wind. Here's a Defiance little reference card, double sided. All oh, these are real nice, glossy card stock. Nice little, these are nice little uh, rule summaries, uh, kind of refreshers. So when you're playing, you you know, once you know the game, you'll just look at this to go, oh yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Very nice feature to add this in here. Oh, it does us our forces. So we have the Dutch, right? And we have the Germans, obviously. What else we got? The Belgians are the ones with the the boar's head. Obviously the French one has a skull. Is the, uh, 
I don't know who they are. Corvrons, Panache, something like that. Uh, they're just French forces. Uh, and then we have British forces as well. So some of you were probably screaming at me when you saw the saw the uh, saw me looking at the yeah, counter sheet. Okay, oh, he's an idiot. All right, play your eight card. Use your defensive fire, offensive. Uh, um, excuse me, your ordnance fire tables and your terrain charts. Play all the special terrains for the game. Turn track and a sequence of play summary. Turn track is single sided. A couple of charts if you need them. Sequence of play is double sided. Gives you how tells you how to reduce your forces and they go from multi man to single man. Also tells you how to uh, not multi man to single man. Yeah, multi man to single man. Tells you which of the counters to use and then the weapon ammo and targets chart gives you the ordnance fire uh, tables. So you don't have to flip the counters over if you don't want to. Alright, so for Heroes in Defiance of the Lock and Loop Tactical System, you're going to get a sequence of play card, a turn track, your player aid card with your training chart, rules reference card, oversized uh, skill reference card, you're going to get an earthquake with it in the camera, you're going to get one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven maps, six counter sheets. Well, easy to punch, very easy to punch counters. Four of them, five, six. You're gonna get the World War II era core rules manual and the beautiful, huge 32 scenarios, 80 something pages, module rules and scenarios book. That's heavy. Two dice. Clean a nice blue one. And that, my friends, is what you can get. Heroes in Defiance. Of the Lock and Load system by Lock and Load Publishing. Don't be in defiance. Go buy it now. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!